Hey artists, today we're gonna to talk about being grateful. And I'm gonna teach you how to draw some bees. You'll need some crayons and a black marker to do this project. I hope you have fun today. Happy creating. Okay, artists, the first step in making our bee grateful bees is to draw some bees. So when you draw bees, they are actually really, really simple shapes. We're gonna use a letter O and a letter U to draw the main part of our bee. So I'm gonna put one right here that's gonna be flying, and I'm gonna start with a circle shape. I'm gonna practice, 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 touch. And there is my letter O. That's gonna be the head for my bee. And the next shape I wanna draw is a letter U. But this U is sideways, cause it's the body of my bee. My bee needs a stinger. My bee needs some wings. Antennas. A face. And most importantly, that makes it look like a bee is the stripes. The next bee I'm going to draw is using the same exact principles, but this one is going to be have its wings on each side. So it's gonna be right here. Circle. You wings, a stinger, stripes, antenna, a face. And I think I will draw one more bee flying into my picture, right over here. Probably I'm gonna have part of it going off the page. So a letter O, a letter U, but just part of it. My wings. My stripes antenna and my face. So now that I have some bees drawn, it's important that I color them. Bees are generally yellow in color, but they have black stripes. So this is a super awesome opportunity to think about how you can be grateful. In the black stripes, I want you to use a black crayon or marker to write the word of some of the things that you are grateful for. This bee is my family bee. I'm gonna write the word family on every other stripe. This bee is my pet bee. I'm thankful for my dogs, Bella and Amelia. So I'm gonna write those things. My Amelia got a little crooked, but that's okay. You can also see how I repeated the word pets because I had a lot of space. And this bee is my art bee. I am so thankful that I get to come to work every day and do art with awesome kids. So I'm gonna write art on this bee. So now my bees are looking very very thankful and I'm gonna start coloring them. 
I'm just gonna use regular crayons to color my bee. I am showing how I can be thankful with my words showing through on all my stripes. Because I used marker, they show through just fine. They're not hard to read at all. So my bees are colored and now it's time to think about where my bees are. You could definitely draw just some grass and some sky, like your bee is in a meadow looking for nectar. Or you can draw some hexagons and make it look like your bee is over its honey. I am gonna make hexagons in my background just back here everywhere behind my bees. Hexagons have six sides and they are actually really easy to draw. They look like they have a flat top and a flat bottom and a sideways letter V on each side. Hexagon shapes are the shapes of honeycomb. So I'm just gonna draw a few of them and just kind of pretend that they're all the way in the background. I've got a few hexagons drawn to imply that the bees are honey over their honeycomb. So now I'm going to use some of my colors to add some highlights and shadows to them and just kind of color it all the way in. If you ever get the opportunity to see a beehive and stay safe, it is just awesome. Bees are such hard workers and they have this honeycomb that's just beautiful and perfectly hexagon shaped. <laughs> 